Hey guys, Aaron here, how's it going? Welcome to Thursday Stream. So, as some of you might be aware, it's the two-year anniversary of the channel, and I I was struggling with a bit of choosing a game to play. Last year I did like a 10-hour stream. Unfortunately, it just it just hasn't happened this year, so uh I'm gonna just classify this as the two-year anniversary. So uh I'm gonna celebrate it with a bit of Super Mario Land 2 DX, a colour fan made uh, rom hack i guess uh so we'll see how we go see how far i can get in the game anyway eddie games welcome true pixel uh, i think ozcat and Terry, luke wombo combo mhmd welcome uh thanks for stopping by the stream so everyone remembers this as the most difficult mario game out there no i'm joking it's it's really not difficult at all uh, I don't think it's the easiest game. I, I still think the original Mario Land was quite straightforward. You can complete that game 30 minutes. Uh, this definitely takes a bit longer, so uh, we'll see how we go here. It's kind of a weird one as well, because the original Mario Land looks very different to this. This kind of looks more like the uh, Super Nintendo one. Maybe not as good, but it, it's, it's still a good, good couple of hours or so. Hey, Eddie. Oh, you beat the original. I, yeah, I, I haven't played the original for a while. The fact this is in colour, it makes me wonder why Nintendo never released it as a DX version. They did with Link's Awakening. Uh, why didn't they do it with this one? Sure, there's a reason. I love that star music as well. Don't think we ever heard that again. Hey, True Pixel. Yeah, I. You said the other day, didn't you? You still had quite a portion to do. Uh, I, in fact, I was half tempted to uh, stream the Zelda game that I made many, many years ago. Uh, but I think it was going to be too long to do tonight. It's about three, three and a half hours. Fail. Hey Wayne, welcome. Uh, right, so I'm gonna go with the tree house to start with. Tree zone. They ki kind of borrowed the, the whole zone thing here from Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't think we've seen any other games with zones in before, but... I just kind of like the music for this one. Very, uh, very different, I guess, to some of the other Mario's, but not that different. going to be something else down there. Nope, we can't jump up just yet. Hey Luke, how did I get it? I uh, I did actually do a ROM hack video many months ago, uh, and because of that I did a video on how to patch Game Boy games so that they would work on the, the SNES Mini, or, or an emulator for that matter. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm playing this on the, the Super Nintendo Mini, so uh, yeah, pretty happy with that. Using a Super Nintendo pad as well just makes it slightly easier. Oh, you're joking. Yeah, 
Yes. Yeah, so if any of you guys never played this game before, if you want to try and get that bell to get to the bonus stage. Uh, so, ideally, I want to grab the extra life. So, let's have a look here. Let's go for that one. Yeah, didn't really need that. Uh, hey there, Wayne. Charmaine and Leo say hi. Hey guys, hope you both, well, hope you're all doing well, to be fair. Did you ever play this one, Wayne? It's kind of weird, right? You get these fish that are kind of half-bred with cows. I mean, Nintendo does some weird stuff, but that's just like next level. Yeah, True Pixel. I know exactly what you mean. I think it's, uh, I think it's actually this level with that glitch. We won't be doing that today, though. We don't want any glitches to occur. Come on. Preferably, anyway. I believe that's the bunny ears. There we go, the carrot. Which is a pretty good power-up, really. Uh, it's more just allows you to glide. I probably won't make this, saying that. <laughs> oh, so close. Eddie Games, I wonder how people add colour to Game Boy games that never have colour. Uh, so, it's just a process of hacking the ROM, recolouring the actual, the sprites. So they would be in the, the black and white. Uh, and you just recolour them. I'm surprised more people don't do that, because... The Game Boy does have quite a good library of games. I think it would look nicer in colour, <laughs> like I'm sure uh, you guys would agree. There we go. Jason. We get... we'll, we'll see. <laughs> uh, next person to sub or donate, maybe the hat will go on at some point. Bonus. Yeah, Wayne, I, I mean, the original Game Boy wasn't actually green, was it? The games were black and white, but the screen was green, so you always got that impression. I remember when I first run one of my emulators, well, a ROM in an emulator, I was, like, really confused. Why is the game grey? Uh, and then I found out why. Come on. What waste. But I mean, this game, when it originally came out, the reviews were not very... How can I say this? Not very kind to it. A lot... Yeah, I, I don't know why. It's, it's one of those games that... is fun, maybe because it is so short, maybe people didn't like it for that reason.
tempting to go down there, but I think I might stay up top. You. That's a really, really bad place to put an extra life. That really is. Uh, Luke Wombo, did you see the American SNES? What do you mean? The... The actual original SNES? Obviously, me being in the UK, it looks quite different. Yeah, the, the only thing we're playing is Luigi. I'm not quite sure how you uh, change character without quitting out the game. Uh, plus, I do believe he actually does jump higher, which I don't know how that affects a lot of the levels, but still. Right, let's try and keep hold of the uh, ears for once. That's a really, really bad place. That will catch off so many people. Nice. Uh, uh, Wayne, you're not staying? Really? Shocking. <laughs> it's all good. I'll talk to you soon. Luke, I'll, I'll see you late, later into the stream if it's possible. Now, I would love to say that I'll play every level in the game, but I think I'm going to have to uh, see how far I can get. Maybe missing some of the, the levels I don't necessarily need to do. Stick with the ears, I think. Are the owls forgot about these guys? Oh, oh wow! Magic raid. Oh, guys, thank you for stopping by. Uh, who've we got? Lost Abrosian legend, uh, Pat Rick, Magic Marvelous, and Daquan. Welcome to the stream, guys. Hope I didn't miss anyone out there. Uh, I would ask one of the mods to kindly put a link back to your channel, but uh, unfortunately I don't know if any of them are around at the minute. So uh, let's get onto that platform. What we got here, just coins, I guess. You know what? I'm going to skip the coins. We don't need those. Uh, no, you are completely correct. This is not Super Mario Brothers 2. This is Super Mario Land 2. I, I just had to check the video name there, just in case I was wrong. Uh, how am I doing? Yeah, I'm not doing too bad, thanks. 
thankfully for once, it's not ridiculously boiling hot. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's uh, the two year anniversary of the channel. So uh, it's really cool that you guys stopped by. Well, I tell a lie, it was the two year anniversary yesterday, but I couldn't stream yesterday. This is really the, the only boss I can kind of remember. So uh, I'll probably have some difficulties on the others. We'll see. Uh, in my language, ADHS is the name of a disease. Well, I'll tell you what. It is a good name. My channel name is not ADHS. Magic Marvelous. Happy two year anniversary. Cheers, man. Appreciate it. So, that was the first area done. Uh, I, th I guess areas like this don't really need to be done to complete the game, but why not? Yeah, lost. Oh, this this is <laughs> really did want to get that star there. Uh, yeah, this is probably my first proper playthrough for. What? Uh, what just happened there? <laughs> Did the game bug out and throw me back to the title? Bizarre. Yeah, I, I honestly haven't played this game m properly for a long time. Uh, I did do a, a little playthrough of the World 1 for a video a while ago, but that's as far as I got. I, don't, I honestly, I don't quite know what happened there. It did kind of look like I had been pushed off the screen and the game kind of bugged out. Uh, True Pixel, Jora, welcome. How are you today? Sorry, I. No favoritism here. Okay, so let's go have a look for another area that we can get to. I remember this one. Yeah. Uh, to me, it kind of looks like you can complete the game in any order, then. I can't remember if you, you had to unlock areas, but... That's kind of cool that you can do it in any order. Uh, True Pixel, yeah, they are combined. Yeah, I'm playing the... Uh, playing it on a SNES Classic. Uh, one of my videos shows you how to uh, to get games working on the SNES Classic. Including other console, well, Game Boy, Mega Drive. Stuff like that. Magic, no worries. Take it easy. Uh, Jora, thank you, man. I do appreciate it. Glad you're enjoying the stream.
Kind of strange the bunny ears do kind of work quite similar to the uh, raccoon tail from mario brothers 3. i kind of would have liked to, to have like a, an attack but still the flying seems to be uh doing okay yeah. he says <laughs> hey terry welcome yeah i you know what i I know there's not many of you guys here, but I really appreciate that uh, you've been sticking with the channel for so long. Uh, I can't believe it's that two years has gone so quick. Kind of scary, really. Uh, new Papa. I can't completely pronounce your name there. Is that Kanan? Welcome. Yeah, True Pixel. Something like that, if not more. It probably is more than one and a half years, to be fair. I think you and Thierry uh, were around the same time. But thanks, guys. need to find a pipe to get that life. That's a bit of a close call. Okay. Tyrion and Eric, yeah, around for a lot longer. I, I'm sure you were relatively <laughs> near that point, though. Uh, Kanan, thank you, man. Let's not lose my life. Trust me to pick the only one without an item. <laughs> Typical. Right. Yeah, True Pixel, I've kind of got a couple of ideas to get emotes. You're not the only one to have mentioned it. Yeah, I've... I, I Honestly, I need to get that sorted, as you say. Jora, yeah. I, I think the music in this game is... Uh, definitely uh, underappreciated by a lot of people. <laughs> Hey TB, thanks, really appreciate it. Here's to the next year. The thing is, I, I've always kind of wanted a uh, a theme for Mario Maker in this style and uh, the mods out there kind of enabled that thankfully 
but there's still so much that is in this game that I do believe could be made well, you know, well used in Mario Maker 2 if it ever comes out. And thank you, True, for the cheer. Much appreciated. Yeah, really wasn't worth coming up here to lose my power-ups. Uh, TB, what am I playing this on? Uh, the Super Nintendo Mini. Uh, to be fair... <laughs> I use that for most of my uh, emulation. It's uh, so straightforward, really. Oh, great. Why did I do that? TB, thank you for a cheer, man. Loving it. Cheers. And again, True Pixel, the cheers are coming in <laughs> fast and steady. And this level kind of always reminded me of Lego. I guess it does have that look. Uh, a fact though, some of you might not know this, but apparently Nintendo did used to make building bricks. So this level was actually kind of based on that. It's not just it's not just your normal Lego. Not not just your standard boring Lego. It's actual Nintendo Lego. It definitely looks better in colour, this section. 100%. There's those saws. Let's jump over those. Doge the swaggy dog. Let, right, let me let me just do this uh, boss fight because 
I can't remember exactly how to do this one. Okay. Oh, okay, so they've all got different attack patterns here. That sound is from Link's Awakening as well. Don't remember that. Uh, Jory, oh, you're in Norway. It's summer and freezing. To be fair, over in the UK, we've had some really weird weather this year. Uh, the first half of the year, it was, it was useless. <laughs> um, it was raining uh, for many months. And now, well, that summer was really warm. Like, seriously warm, like the rest of the world was, probably. Uh, but it's calmed down a bit now, thankfully. Hey, Chloe. Uh, it most certainly is a good game. I only play good games, or at least I try to. Oh, TB, you do a bit of Merry Maker modding. Nice. Yeah, True Pixel. Yeah, I think I just commented on that. The funny thing is, uh, I might be wrong on this, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. This game was made around the same time as Link's Awakening. And apparently there is a few little things that do, does appear in this game. That does appear in like Link's Awakening as well. Uh, the bonus game, for example. At the end of every level, you get that little game which uh, pit you can pick up extra lives uh, or power-ups. That is also in the item shop in Link's Awakening. I know way too much random stuff. <laughs> uh, right, let's head head down this way. No, we're going to go back up and take the other exit. There you go, True. Yeah. Uh, Link's Awakening does have some enemies from the Mario games. Specifically more this one, yeah. Yeah, the Yoshi doll as well. I d yeah, I, d I love the fact they did that whole crossover thing with Link's Awakening. Some of the other Zelda games do kind of do that. Like in Ocarina of Time, you might see the photos uh, in Zelda's castle. Of like Mario and a couple of other characters, but I think Link's Awakening did things a lot better. Not quite sure what they're supposed to be.
And again, with kind of like the horror theme, like the one-eyed cyclops, the uh, the masked creatures as well. I don't think any other Mario game kind of has done that. It's clever. I think I'll ditch the life. It's not exactly like I need it. Right, uh, I might go for that though. There's like a abundance of extra lives in this game. Which I don't really understand why, considering that you don't really need that many, especially when there's a save. That's it, you run away. Thanks for the cheer again, Tree Pixel. Hey Team Warrior, how's it going? Uh, Jura, any favourite game? Oh man, I've got so many favourite games. Uh, I mean, overall, I, I still really enjoy playing the Resident Evils. Resident Evil 4, I still say, is one of my favourites. Mario World is probably my favourite of the, the Mario games, especially, well, the 2D ones. Let's be honest, there's not actually that many bad Mario games, is there? That's a lot of pipes. It's kind of strange, though, not hearing that ghost house music. That we all kind of recognise from Mario World. He was that. I thought I was a goner. Juro, thank you so much for the follow, man. Appreciate it. It's 
So we must be coming up to the end. There we go. Nice. Matteo, welcome. How's it going? It, it was more the factory pixel that I thought I was going to drop off the screen. I wasn't expecting to uh, be able to get back up. Uh, which was good for me anyway. I didn't really fancy redoing all that. Extra life? How did I guess? <laughs> yeah, True Pixel. Funnily enough, I, I was going through my playlists the other day. And uh, I, I did kind of watch a couple of the uh, uh, Super Mario Brother X's. Uh, just small bits, anyway. We've got a problem here. We've got a flying broomstick. It's not a problem. Welcome back, Eddie. Right. There we go. I mean, it's it's very unlike in a Nintendo game to see characters with like a a sword, like, stabbed in someone's head. I guess if you say it like that, it sounds bad, but it, it doesn't really look that bad, does it? Uh, right. What? Oh, okay. We can get bags of money. I completely forgot about that one. Uh, Chloe, uh, I don't think Dan is streaming tonight, is he? Uh, I did pop on his stream yesterday for a bit. Uh, in fact, I think in a couple of weeks, me and Dan are going to do a stream together. To be fair, that is quite a, a bit of a long way back after going up against the boss. You would assume the boss fight would just restart. Uh, 
That's really harsh that you can't even get a power up to this point. So uh, let's try that again then. Sorry, did, did I just miss something? Daquan, thank you, man. Really appreciate it. Uh, Matteo, welcome. Well, now I've got the extra hit points. I'm hoping... Hoping we won't run into issues. Right, I didn't see the spikes, true. Tribot, welcome. No worries. The, uh, the actual spikes at the top kind of blend in a little. touch and go there for a second but let's get that third coin Jura 10pm in Norway no worries take it easy maybe see you again Freddy Senpai welcome how's it going so uh, that's three of them let's go find another Great. Now we get onto the water stages. Yeah, TB, no worries. Thank you for stopping by. Maybe see you again. Shocking. Uh, yeah, True Pixel, I, I was going to say, they do look quite similar-ish, don't they? A bit of a... maybe a family resemblance. Alright, come on. Just give me a mushroom already. <laughs> Yeah, we don't have the whole coin flip thing here. No coins.
Uh, I think ever since uh, I've probably got some kind of PTSD off of Tiri's water. Was it Bowser sunken boat ship? <laughs> uh, I think that would turn anyone off of boot, uh, water levels for life. This one is a little, little easier to manage. Kind of crazy to think though that Nintendo managed to get this game into a, a Game Boy cartridge. Because compared to the original Super Mario Land, this this is like a massive upgrade, like serious upgrade. That game is like one of the most basic games you could come across. Let's wait a second here. Well, yeah, considering that three worlds have done so far, and we're, what, just less than an hour into the stream. Uh, yeah, there's a good fair, there's a fair chance that I am actually going to complete this tonight, for once. Yeah, Terry, trust me, even though I couldn't finish it. Uh, it still kind of left a, a long-lasting impression on me. It's not like I'm going to forget that in a hurry. Too slow. Uh, I hope there's sound. Be so careful dodging that spike there. And <laughs> it wasn't even worth going that way anyway. So that must have been an alternative exit into this area, I guess. I think I got a little impatient there. We've got to go all the way back up here. I tell you what, true, I, I honestly can't remember. There's a reason why you collect this many coins. Maybe you need to collect a certain amount to finally defeat Wario. If anyone knows, 
just let me know in the, the chat. As I said, it's been a long time since I played this, so I can't remember everything about it, but... Jura, go for it. Get some sleep. <laughs> uh, and take it easy. See you again. Right. No, we missed it. I mean, you could say this level in particular was a bit of foreshadowing for... Uh, is it Jabu, Jabu's Belly from Ocarina of Time? Just the hole inside a monster thing here. disappeared. And that's probably going to be the last power-up before the boss as well, no, my luck. That, that was the N64 tree. Ocarina. It's close, cool. more hit. So yeah, whatever that is hanging off the ceiling kind of blocks you off a bit from from staying too much up there. I don't believe that. One more hit. Mario looks difficult to control. He he is a bit. You have to be a little careful with the controls. It's a little difficult to control. Well, control his movement, but it's really not that bad. No worse than any other Mario, I guess. It's 
do this. See, I do wonder if... There you go. <laughs> that was a lot easier than I was expecting. <laughs> So that is coin four. Let's go hunt down the other two. What is an octopus doing inside of a whale? <sighs> Anyone's guess. When, when has anything made logic sense in a, in a Mario game anyway? too keen on the, the bubbles there. Uh. Seem a bit fiddly to uh, to use. Tribot, no worries. Thanks for stopping by. Come on. We can't make it. We're going to have to go down below. I don't believe that. That was the first level. Yeah, first level I didn't get the bonus. Macro zone. Is it just me, or did that seem kind of pointless, getting that star there? It's not like... Uh, I really needed it. Now, my last Mario Maker stream, uh, someone, I believe it was Fox Jr., he submitted me a level, actually. And I remember this section quite clearly, actually. It's a bit of a shame though that you don't really use spin jumps that often because the way you have to do that is pushing down on the d-pad and then pressing down well a i guess it's not as easy as just pressing the button so that'd be why i'm not really using that move
Uh, what happens? Not much, to be fair. A uh, couple more levels. Uh, so... I'm going to stick with the upper route here. It's a real tough choice to go from Fire Flower to the Bunny is. Fire Flower definitely helps out on enemies, but the Bunny is definitely a kind of like a, a good recovery. I wonder if I can get down there. And that actually kind of makes sense, having the piranha plants actually in plant pots. <laughs> it's just the small things like that. Right, where are we heading? Back into the water. Oh, fair play, true. I did not know that. I'm quite intrigued how many extra lives I can kind of build up here now. Uh, right, so... Let's go for that. That'll give me the carrot. That's really harsh. So avoid that area at all costs.
I think more so for me, True, is that because I've used this uh, this theme on uh, Super Mario Maker, I keep thinking that I can do the, the tail swipe, but you can't do that. How am I supposed to get that? Yeah, Terry, I, I kind of find the... Uh, the level design isn't bad in this one. I don't think it's, like, the best. But I, I find it it's still a fun game, so... That makes it okay in my book. Nope, we're not going up there. Uh, Christian, welcome. How's it going? <laughs> oh, that that's the worst thing. If you're trying to get to sleep and it just doesn't happen. Uh, it's been a bit like that with me for the with the weather lately as well. I can sympathize. Eric, hey there. How's it going? Right, the boss fight. I've got no idea what this one is, so could be interesting. But if I can hold onto that flame, maybe that'll help me out like the last one. Love those money bags. So we're coming up to what nearly a thousand coins. Ah, you know what? I think I've remembered what the coins do. I have a feeling there's an item shop. I can't remember what you can buy, but I remember there being an item shop at some point on the uh, the world map. Oh, Christine, you got a, a switch. I think you made a good choice. <laughs> wow. I didn't expect that. Running off with the extra life. That's different. Oh, you got a cold. Man, touch wood. Uh, I've been okay for quite a while now. Well, I hope it clears up for you. Sooner rather than later. Right. Okay, so... Let's jump on him in the middle, I guess. Of course, he can climb onto the ceiling. Why didn't I expect that? <laughs> I 
Blazing Sky. Same here, man. I've still got my original game as well. Uh, but I couldn't really refuse the colour version. If I can jump on the rat, it would help. There we go. This is going a lot quicker than I was expecting. <laughs> we only need one more lot. I, I know there's still Wario's Castle to deal with, but still. So we've already been up this way. What am I missing? Let's head into the, the hill. So this is what I was talking about. So... I've got no idea what this does. Should we give it a go with 30 coins? So they're kind of mini games basically then. Just with a better chance of winning something good I guess. Which kind of begs the question why do you need the opportunity? Sorry, was that 300 extra lives there? <laughs> what, why do you need this many lives? You can see that... 20... I think that's enough for now. That's just a, a really interesting design choice. Mario Odyssey, for example. You do the same thing, you collect coins to be able to afford things, but at least in that game they're costumes. Do you really need to buy power-ups? Mm, not too sure. Surely make it a little bit more exciting than that. Uh, so we've got Warrior's Castle, which I still need to come back with one coin. Yeah, true. I'm guessing that the last one just is a, a stupid amount of extra lives. Oh, we've got a, a moon up there. <laughs> so where do we go? Moon is all, yeah the moon that's it but how do I get there? <laughs> it's I can't seem to go up that path. Uh, we've already done that level. Blazing. Cheers. I, I thought this level was a bit strange, actually. So maybe it's... That's why you need the bubble up in the sky, perhaps.
Ah, uh, right, get yeah, you. Yeah. So that's where I need to go, the top route. Because I went the bottom route last time, so that would explain a few things. Yeah, blazing. I, I remember the music being pretty good on the moon stage. It's kind of funny, really, because... Uh, DuckTales as well, the moon stage on that on that game. Amazing music. So uh, it'll be good to actually get to it. And here we are, the final zone, space. Possibly the first, first time Mario appears up in space. Takes a little getting used to the uh, the controls here, as you can see. Now we can make the jump then. Oh, we can't look down on the screen either here. It was lucky. Like, seriously lucky. Blazing! Yeah, no worries, man. I, I really do want to try and do a few more sort of SNES mini videos on the channel. Uh, because, yeah, those videos are probably one of my biggest on the channel. And uh, the thing is, I really enjoy live streaming. Uh, which I'm sure a lot of people, you know, they they subbed for more of that of that type of content. Uh, but so I do hope to kind of do a few more things in the future with that. But still. But yeah, I I love the SNES Mini man. It's great. <laughs> uh, I can't be the only one though waiting for the the N64 Mini next year. I really hope so. Come on. Nice. Nice. 
Nothing. Shocking. Nice one, Blazing. That's kind of the thing, though. I, I do find a lot of people, as soon as they see someone live streaming, they're like, nope, I'm out. Uh, and they unsub from the channel. I know it's happened, but it's good that some people take the chance uh, to view some of my live streams. I do try and do a few sort of classic ones quite often, so... Uh, thanks for stopping by, definitely. Come on. Slightly concerned here. Really open mushroom shows up. This was the music you were talking about, wasn't it, Blazing? Now that was quite a nicely placed star, definitely. Let's grab that, and I guess this is the boss. Tatanga! Now this was the boss of the original game. <laughs> uh, pay, time for payback, I guess. All those uh, times I beat him in it. That's a slightly unpredictable there, but I'm sure I've got it this go, I hope anyway. Yeah, I d definitely, uh, I, I am enjoying the music. I'm not enjoying the deaths, but... What what is the uh, the world record? Oh, I'm just messing this up now. Uh, what is the real uh, record for speed run in this game then? Give that another go. Uh, Chloe. So Dan is actually streaming tonight, is he? Uh, I will drop and try and pop in after. Right. 
Right. Oh, Kentucky Mark. Uh, Kentucky Mark, thank you. That makes things a little easier. Right. Well, it made that part easier. Maybe not so much the fight. Yeah, that really does make a difference. <laughs> uh, 26 minutes, 27 seconds. That's pretty crazy. That... And I thought I was doing okay up until this point. Uh, the fireball rolling on you in this game is... Right, okay. I do apologise. This boss is... Definitely causing me some grief. I was going to say, uh, I, true, I was finding it quite easy up until this point. I, I think I made that look a lot harder than it actually was there. So uh, that is our sixth coin. Uh, Blazing Sky, what games do I prefer? I'm a big Nintendo fan, so I do like a lot of their stuff. But I love the retro stuff as well. Uh, recently, I've been playing through a lot of horror games, some of the classics I used to play. Uh, I've been playing Silent Hill 2 and 3. Sounded like it glitched then. Uh, Silent Hill 2 and 3 was a recent one. Resident Evil games as well. Resident Evil 2 Remake. Man. You can't tell me that doesn't look good. Uh, yeah. So, uh... I, I try a lot of different games out on the channel, to be fair. Some work, some don't. Cheers, guys. Let's do this. Yeah, I, I doubt I'm going to be... Well, I I did kind of want to play through Nemesis, Resident Evil Nemesis. Uh, I got it on the PC, but I'm struggling to get it working on joypads. Uh, so probably the next Resi game I'll play is Resi 2. Uh, but yeah, the Silent Hill games, I'm probably going to take a break after number 3. Maybe play PT, uh, as I haven't actually played that yet. Uh, I believe there's a new Tomb Raider coming out in September as well. Uh, Shadow Tomb Raider. Uh, I haven't 100% de decided yet whether I'm actually going to buy that at launch. Mainly because that game is expensive. <laughs> It's like 50 to 70 quid. It's a rip-off. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm trying to stick with my schedule at the minute with Mario on Thursdays, or some Nintendo game on Thursday. Whether it's Mario Kart 8DX or something retro. 
Uh, Sunday, I'm going to try and keep from the longer games, occasionally horror or retro. Uh, and Tuesday, I usually have a friend help out, Wayne. And we usually play a retro Nintendo game or something along those lines, Sega. It's going pretty quick. I love the uh, the W on the gloves as well. Blazing, I tell you what, I've got Resident Evil 3 for the GameCube. I just haven't got a very good way of getting it working on my screen. I, I suppose I could use Dolphin. I've used that a few times in the past. Yeah, Terry. I what I thought I'd do for PT is because it's quite a short game. Uh, I thought I might kind of tie that in with the the chainsaw game or uh, that whatever it's called, the drill game, drill massacre. Uh, I did actually buy Layers of Fear as well, so that's another option at some point. read my mind, Terry. Yeah, I... There's a few Resident Evil games I don't own, but I would say I've got the majority of them. It's just a great series, really. You know, one that I've, I've always kind of played the new games. We'll forget about some like Resident Evil 6. Or the, uh, the FPS ones on the uh, PlayStation. Before I go any further, I think it's probably a wise idea to grab myself a power-up. Uh, because, quite honestly, I think I need it. See, Blazing Sky, I, I actually quite like Resident Evil 5. I, I don't think it's as good as the others, by any means. But as a co-op game, Resident Evil 5 is it's fun. I played it single player and co-op a few times. It, it's a good co-op game, not necessarily a good co-op Resident Evil game. But still...
Yeah, I picked up the Shenmue, uh, Shenmue remake. Uh, I haven't... I, I loaded it up to have a real quick go. I was a bit of a fan of the original. I never did play Shenmue 2. It definitely looks better, don't get me wrong, on uh, my PC. It definitely feels like a, a game made in, what, 1999 though. I thought I had the, uh, the rabbit ears then um, for a second. Right, guys, I'm gonna properly concentrate here. I've died way too many times. <laughs> Yeah, the thing was with the bunny is it, it does help out a bit with the la well landing your jumps better. But I'm not going back each time to uh, to grab one. Jura, I really hope I still am. This is where, like, on quite precise jumps, <laughs> the the actual controls are probably working against me a little. That's my excuse, anyway. Yeah, let's just wait for that to come back. <clears throat> oh! I landed it as well. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey Daito, Blazing Sky, well I hope you put aside the next few hours uh, because I feel that that might be the case. No, I, I really want to try and get this done in the next 10 minutes or so, so this will happen, trust me. Might take me a few more goes, but to be fair though, when you're playing a game like this, the rest of the levels mostly took maybe one or two goes to get through. You would kind of hope that last level is actually difficult. Hey Dan, how's it going? Are you streaming tonight? Uh, Dan is, or Future Perfect Gaming, he has a YouTube channel as well. He is a very good close friend of mine, so uh, maybe go check his channel out as well. Right, patience. I need lots of it. Finally. We're just back to the hands again. Great. I'm sorry, but that is ridiculous. How quick is that moving? Oh, you are, Dan. Nice one. So the skull blocks drop. They don't move like I was expecting them to. <laughs> Lost. I did think there was something a bit strange going on with the floor. I will uh, remember that next time. It's always got to be one thing that just hits me randomly like that.
Nice one. Shenmue, sounds like a plan. Right, come on, come on. It's got to happen this time. Perfect. So let's watch out for that trap on the floor then. I get you. Nice. See, once you know what you're doing, it's actually not that bad, is it? <sighs> hey, Leon. How's it going? We will do this tonight, trust me. <laughs> I just really hope there's going to be a checkpoint before ba uh, Wario. You had a business meeting uh, with a client. Nice one. I'm going to go and grab, hopefully, another power-up and give that a go. Quite clearly, I am struggling slightly there. Oh, really, Dan? Sorry to hear that. The thing is, right, streams can go both ways sometimes. You can get quite a few people watching. Yeah, we're we're right at the end of the game. I would say this this level has taken me the longest time out of every stage in the game so far. Just trying to get the uh, the bunny ears. Not that it's probably going to help me out, but it's worth a go. Uh, I don't know. I'm guessing it's just a better chance of getting extra lives. Why you would want extra lives up to a thousand, I've got no idea, but I guess the option's there. If there was a way of me getting a thousand coins pretty quick, I'd give it a go after. Well, if I do finish this. Uh, but I don't think there's a quick way of doing that, Leon. Just a huge load of lives. You don't need to buy extra lives in this game. <laughs> there's plenty of them.
Uh, the Skrull, you can get them pretty quickly if you want to try a glitch for them. Ah, oh, why did I... Uh, it's, it's absolutely fine. I, I won't worry too much about that. The running momentum really, really isn't quite the same as I'm used to. I really hope so, Dan. <laughs> that was so close. <laughs> Please, give me a checkpoint. I beg. Just take this easy. Nice. Two of them, really. That is exactly why the rest of the game is so easy and you get tons of extra lives because this last level is just like crazy ridiculously difficult I can't remember it being this difficult honest
No checkpoints. The best I can do really then is have as many power-ups as I can and hope I get lucky. I, I legit just fell right through the middle of that platform. We're not giving up, guys. I need to do this. <laughs> I can't leave it here. Well, I've done it before, Lost, so I would hope I could do it again. Three, fa three phases, okay, well. I'll stick with it for the time being. If it looks like it's not gonna happen, we'll, uh, we'll decide then. See, that, that platform wouldn't be half as bad if it didn't disappear underneath. If it was in line with the, the one you're standing on. Uh, it definitely feels like a, a super expert level from Mario Maker. Uh, I won't disagree there. Right, let's not hit... That's where a checkpoint would be good right now. Just as you go through that pipe. Right. <sighs> OK, 
Come on, come on. Okay, so that one's pretty straightforward. It's just when there's two of them now. There's two I need to keep an eye on. Leon, cheers, man. Appreciate it. Right, okay. Let's get to business. That's actually quite off-putting that when the the entire screen flashes. Doesn't seem normal to me. Okay, so I know I can actually get to Wario. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Just wasn't meant to happen that time. I can't remember if you can actually save Game Boy games with the Super NES Mini, so I could actually just save at the boss fight, but if that is possible. I'm feeling pretty confident at the minute though. 35 minutes, is that it? So I've kind of seen Wario's first stage, so there's two others, is there? Oh, come on. <sighs> 
Right, power up time. I kind of wish I had one more than that, but still. Okay, so that's phase one. Let's grab the carrot. Nice. Oh, he gets the ears too. Great. Come on, you got this, you got this. That was the last hit. <laughs> I, I don't believe that. I, I, I can't honestly believe that just happened. One last hit. I'm I'm absolutely guy, guys. <laughs> I really am. Press F to pay respects. <sighs> it's all a learning pro process, isn't it? So... That is the problem I have with this level. It's just jumping that platform. The others I seem to be okay with now. Moro, welcome, thank you, man. Oh, I, I can't believe that happened. That was ridiculous. Aki Shepherd, welcome. How's it going? Thank you, man. It's appreciated. Two years. It's gone so well. It feels like it's gone very quick anyway. Uh, so we've been stuck on this level. The rest of the game, right, has been absolutely fine. No real difficulties. This one, though. Uh, unfortunately, I was one hit away from taking down Wario, and that didn't quite go to plan. So uh, hopefully we can get back there without any problems. He says... Thank <laughs> you. 
It's a little, little close. <laughs> there we go. Most certainly is. I I do like the mod or the hack. Come on, land that jump. <sighs> uh, Leon, I, I'm not quite sure what the deal with the colors is. Uh, it is a hack, so someone has actually coloured everything. So they might not look exactly right, but it does the job, I guess. No, that was a fail. I might actually run out of all my lives. Yeah, I, life farming's fine. I've probably got enough money to go and buy a load, but ideally, I, I don't really want to be going to do that. No. I don't like the jumps on the skulls. Just doesn't feel right. Nightbot, totally agree. <laughs> it's not, it's not like it's a bad level at all. It's just, I think with the controls, it just makes a few of the the jumps a bit, a bit crazy. Hmm. 
Is that... What is that supposed to be? It kind of looks like an orange. With a... Uh, or is it a pumpkin? got one power up hopefully that's enough to do this bit anyway That's better, right. Uh, I used those Wario Ball graphics for programming assignment. <laughs> nice. I know I can do it. The question is, how long will it take? <laughs> and will my sanity still be with me by the end of this? I'm not too sure about that. Tomorrow, I can't remember who... If you go to romhacking.net, uh, it should say uh, who the creator is for this particular rom hack. Close. Right, okay, so we're in a good position here. We've got all power-ups. And more. I mean, this section's probably the easiest part. It's pretty straightforward to dodge those. Bye. 
Not a problem, not a problem. I hope. <laughs> right, nice. Let's grab that final power up and hope for the best. Okay, phase one complete. Let's grab the carrot. Oh. Taurus. There you go. Piece of cake. Yes. Oh, finally. Please tell me that's it. That. That just looks weird. <laughs> that doesn't look like the Wario that I know. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway. So we've got the nice new castle here. Now Mario's. Mario's money bin, I guess. <laughs> and there we go. That's the game ended. Oh, guys. That that was definitely an experience, right? Where, when I started playing this, I didn't expect to get stuck on that last level for so long. The rest of the game, piece of cake, really. But that last one. I will have to remember that if I ever get around to playing it again. Uh, cheers, guys. Packy Shepherd, Future Perfect Gaming, Eric, Mayo, Blazing Sky, Teary, True Pixel, The Squirrel. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Appreciate it. So glad I didn't have to revert to using the rewind function if it worked. Yeah, a lot of people made this game, obviously. Uh, so yeah, guys, I'm going to leave the end of the video playing. Can we can we find someone real quick uh, to raid over on YouTube? Uh, I don't know if Leon or Eric could have a quick look with me, but uh, I'm not too sure... We've got a mix. We've got Overcooked from Fran. Uh, we've got Cortato is playing Mario Kart. Uh, yeah, guys, what I'm going to do... Uh, It'd be great if if you like Overcooked. There's another streamer called Fran, uh, great streamer by the way. Maybe just raid his channel for me. That'd be amazing. Uh, thank you everyone who has watched today. Hope you enjoyed the stream. 
even if it took me a little longer than I should have done to uh, uh, to do. Crispy plays. What is Crispy playing at the minute then? Uh, I honestly don't mind. Does do you know what? Let's go with Crispy Plays as he is actually uh, streaming Mario Maker. Uh, so uh, let's put that. There you go. I put put it in the uh, actual chat. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, have a great day. I'll be back on Sunday with uh, the second part of Silent Hill 3. Uh, yeah, otherwise I'll be back next week with some other streams. Take it easy, guys. See you later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. I cannot go through all those sounds again, man. I'm gonna skip this one. <laughs> Jeez. Those sounds are too bad, man. We got raided? Whoa, hang on. We got raided? I was focused. I'm sorry I didn't see it come in. ADH Ray. Hello, ADH. How are you doing? Future Perfect Gaming. I really cannot read what that says, but I think it's Thierry? 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 Thierry. 